Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight in grade 5, in module 5, we are working on lesson number 20. And that means in lesson number 20, we are doing the following. We are classifying two-dimensional figures in a hierarchy based on properties. And in tonight's homework, we're going to look at a specific figure and try to figure out all the different things we can figure out about it based on what we know of this particular kind of parallelogram. So let's take a look. Problem number 2 asks us to do the following. SQRE, which is the figure here, SQRE, is a square with an area of 49 centimeters squared. And RM, that's this segment, RM, is 4 and 95 hundredths centimeters. And they've labeled it right there. Find the measurements using what you know about the properties of squares. And then they've given us all of these to think about. So what I'd like you to do first is I'd like you to just pause for a second and think about everything you know about squares. Everything you know about squares. Okay, now that we're done pausing, let's figure out what we're up to. Let's see, we know only a couple of things, right? We know that the area is this. And we know that one of these little um, halves of one of the diagonals is 4 and 95 hundredths centimeters. Okay, so let's see what they're asking. They want us to tell, tell you how long is this segment, RS, from R all the way to S. Well, let's see. One of the things that I know about squares is that the diagonals bisect each other. In other words, this diagonal bisects this diagonal uh, RS. And that's the actual diagonal that we're interested in. And if it bisects this diagonal, that means it's two times as long, right? This length is exactly the same as this length. So that tells me that this length over here on this side is 4.95 centimeters, right? If it bisects, if this diagonal bisects this diagonal, and this part, this half of the diagonal is 4.95, then this must be 4.95. So I think I can just figure out uh, the line segment RS, that, that diagonal, by just multiplying or at adding 4.95 times 2, right? Let's see. I'll do that over here. Let's see. 2 times 5 hundredths is 10 hundredths. Oh, there's 10 hundredths. And then 2 times 9 tenths is 18 tenths, plus one more is 19 tenths. Awesome. And finally, 2 times 4 ones is 8 ones, plus one more is 9 ones. Awesome. I'll put the decimal right where it was before, and it looks like that line segment is 9.9 .9 centimeters. And that makes sense, right? It's twice as long as this segment right here. Let's take a look at another one. QE. Oh, it's this diagonal. Well, hey, now, even just in a rectangle, the two diagonals are going to be equal. So QE, this diagonal, must be exactly as long as RS. So I think we've already done that work. Done. Awesome. Next one, let's see. Perimeter. Huh, weird. Well, we know the area. How can we use the area to help us figure out the perimeter? Let's see, what's the formula for area of a square? Well, that would just be side times side equals the area, right? Or length times width, but length times width are the same thing. And we know that the area is 49 square centimeters. So what number times itself would give us 49 square centimeters. Let's see, would 5 times 5 do it? No, 5 times 5 is 25. That's not big enough. How about 6 times 6? No, that's 36. That's not big enough. Hey, 7 times 7, right? If one side were 7 and the other side were 7, 7 times 7 would equal 49. Is that right? Let's see, 7 times 7, 7 centimeters long times 7 centimeters long equals 49 centimeters squared. I think that's right. So that's 7, and that's 7. And we'll just put all of them around, Let's, since we know they're all 4 equal. All right. Oh, and then the perimeter would just be, oh, right, 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7. It's either repeated addition to 28 or 4 times 7, 1, 2, 3, 4 copies of 7. Either way, 28 centimeters. Awesome. Next one. Let's see. What is the angle Q R E. Let's see, Q, R, E. So this angle right here. Well, gosh, I know that in a square, the angles at the corners are all right angles, and a right angle is 90 degrees. So I know that Q, R, E must be a right angle. I'll put a little red, right, to indicate that. But yeah, that's not, that angle has got to be 90 degrees, right? What about angle Q, M, 
I'm sorry, RMQ. So that's RMQ. So that's this angle right here. What is that angle? Well, let's see. Again, I think that the diagonals of any rectangle, and a square is just one kind of rectangle, the diagonals of any rectangle are going to meet and form a perpendicular are they going to meet and they're going to be perpendicular. And that means that they're going to form four right angles. So I think that's a right angle too. In fact, I'm going to change my little designation. It's not just any angle. That's a right angle. So I think RMQ, I think that's also a right angle. And that means that that's also 90 degrees. I think we could figure out all this stuff based on this diagram with just two pieces of information, 49 centimeters squared for the area and the length of one half of one of the diagonals we could figure out all these other things. Pretty awesome. Makes us feel like an expert about squares, that's for sure. Well, thanks for joining me for another episode of Mr. Kung Hat's Problems. I'll see you again next time. Take care.